What's good, sports fans? My name is Damian Adams from The Real Deal with Damian Adams. I apologize for not bringing you a video in such a long time. I've been concentrating more on the podcast, which you can subscribe to. If you are a podcast fan, a sports fan, you'll enjoy it. It's called The Real Deal with Damian Adams. It's available wherever you listen to podcasts. I just dropped a new one today. Right, so go ahead and subscribe now. New episode is called The Athlete's Power to Create Change. I think it's a dope episode you guys will enjoy. So go ahead and subscribe to The Real Deal with Damian Adams. So the reason I came to do a video today is that there was some news that broke while I was recording the episode this morning and I didn't get a chance to give my thoughts on the episode. So as you can see, I'm an African-American male, black man, and you may not know, if this is your first time watching me, that I am a die-hard New Orleans Saints fan. Who that nation all day, every day? Who that said they're going to beat them Saints all day riding with them? And because of this, I have gotten a just onslaught of messages text people asking me what's up with your mans bro and they're asking me that because there was an interview that came out with drew Brees, quarterback for new orleans saints future hall of famer saying that he still finds kneeling during the national anthem as being disrespectful to the country and the military people who have die for the country, people who are serving, who have served, right? And for me, I just don't understand how anyone could ever find that act of protest as being a sign of disrespect towards the military in any way. So, Colin Kaepernick started off the protest by sitting down during the national anthem. Went to military officials to find a way to do it in a more respectful manner towards the flag, towards the military, towards the country, to try to find the best way so people wouldn't be offended by that. So he started kneeling. And people have still found a way to turn this into a act of disrespect towards the country, which again, how? When he clearly stated this is a protest against police brutality and the oppression of minorities in this country. Again, and again, and again. And then you have people who are in the military telling you that it's not a sign of disrespect. You have veterans like myself, I did four years in the Navy, telling you it's not disrespectful to kneel in form of protest. One of the reasons we serve and the people who fought in combat did it is because they want you to have that right to protest, that right to your freedom of speech. He's not burning the flag, not spitting on the flag. He's not doing anything. He's not rubbing the flag on the ground. He's not wearing the flag in form of clothing, which you're not supposed to do. There's so many things that are done in disrespect of the flag in the military that we don't react to, but people react to Colin Kaepernick kneeling or people kneeling during the national anthem as disrespect to the country. And Drew Brees says that the reason he feels this way is that both his grandfathers served during World War II. They were serving alongside black men, black women who came back home and we're not given a hero's welcome. What about them? Right? What about somebody like me, African American who served, who when I get pulled over for a routine traffic stop because I didn't turn on my headlights in time before the sunset, first question I get asked is do you have any weapons in the car with a flashlight being put it all into the car so that he can do a quote-unquote search without really searching. What about us? We all have, pretty much everybody has family who has served. 
and we understand what the protest is actually about. It's been four years since it started, and we've seen so many murders at the hands of the police of African Americans that were unnecessary. And the fact that you've never seen the light on this is nuts. So, of course, I'm still going to be a diehard Saints fan. It's not going to change. I root for the Saints, right? And just to make it clear, I don't think Drew Brees is a bad guy. I just think that he's very tone deaf in the situation. Like, he's done wonderful things for the city of New Orleans. He donated $5 million to the state of Louisiana for coronavirus relief. So, I'm not saying he's a bad guy. But just very, very misguided. You know, he... He's played alongside probably 75 to 80 percent of African Americans throughout his career. How has he not been exposed to what they're thinking, what they're seeing with this? It just doesn't make sense. So for me, man, I just got to say for Drew Brees to still think this is disrespectful to the military when people in the military, people who have served, are yelling at you that it's not, you don't want to see the real issue. You don't. And with all the nice things that you've done, this stance can be something that erases all of that. And I don't want that to happen. So please think about what you are saying and the way you view the situation if you see this video. All right. But thank you guys for listening to me rant for a little bit. You know, I got to hit my. Get my thoughts off about that. And until next time, please go real or go home.